The Polar Roll Ultra is a 140 mile fat bike race from Munising to Ishpeming and ends with 28 miles of Ramba single track. You have 48 hours to finish and 36 hours to buckle. And little did I know the hardest part of this year's race was passing the gear check. By the way, special thanks to Eric Hanna who loaned me his negative 20 degree sleeping bag. Without him, I would have been disqualified. Okay, we've got... So, Mark, are you going a little light on the gear? Or? No, no, no. You said make sure we have enough lights. How many you got? Six. And then I got this. You think that's enough? Huh? You think that's enough? Have you ever been out in a Margie without lights? Oh, my God. Yep. Blimey. They'll see me coming. Yeah. Heath looks like he just got done with the workout here, but he's <laughs> got the leg squeezers, even though we haven't even started. How you feeling? I want my legs yeah, fresh. How you feeling? Not much. Just having some nice, cool Gatorade. Here. You are signed up for Winter Ultra, and if you didn't come here today taking this with absolute seriousness, you're not prepared for the worst case fucking scenario. So Monday morning at 7 a.m., we were off from Otter Lake Campground in the dark. Ever feel like you're holding in the old you that was younger then? The crazy demands like every day and you're turning in early on the weekend? Seems like you're losing what you told yourself You would never give up So caught in the hype of making a living That you forgot to live your life But guess what? Can't stop, won't stop That's what I'm here about to crank it up It's the summertime, y'all When the sun ain't setting So we might as well stay up Let's throw another beat on the wheels of steel And another shrimp on the barbie I got a fresh sun burning Some mad appeal But you know I came to start the party So the the best thing about having fun with this instead of racing it is I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> in 2023, I rode all day with Brian Gashell and we finished in 23 hours, but the last bit in Ramba was miserable. But this year I had a plan. I rented an Airbnb right along the course and I turned this baby into a stage race. Day one consisted of 114 miles in about 14 and a half hours, getting me to Ishpeming for the first time. Then I took an 11 hour break. This included over seven hours of sleep. Day two involved five hours in Ramba, but it was in the daylight and I wasn't exhausted and it wasn't completely miserable. <laughs> Yesterday's blues, yeah Turn the TV off, it's bad news, man Feeling fresh like a Ziploc new man OJ with a champagne tuna My boss and Holy Ghost running through ya Hell yeah, it's a new hallelujah Popping like the top off a bottle and I ain't stopping yet yeah. Baby, it's a brand new day Ain't no crowd singing over me Something doesn't feel the same The rest of my life gonna start today Good morning Start today. Calling out the ocean, this is evolution. Can I grow into another animal? The next level. I'm sprouting wings and I just want to sing. In the future, now the past can't harm me. 
Forget about yesterday, Paul McCartney I'm feeling like a Beatle on stage And the whole wide world's gonna know my name Baby, it's a brand new day Ain't no clouds hanging over me Something doesn't feel the same The rest of my life gonna start today Good morning Simple. It goes like this. I've been up, I've been down, but I got the feeling right now. I've been up, I've been down, but I got the feeling right now. I've been up, I've been down, so you got the feeling right now. When I finished, I told Todd jokingly that my stage race execution probably wouldn't even be legal next year. He told me he was already writing the rule against it. Let me tell you about the most impressive performance of the race, in my opinion. It was my buddy, Brian Chamberlain. He's 63 years old, he's a practicing orthopedic surgeon, and he's got more kids than I can keep track of, including two little ones. He didn't train as much as he had hoped, and despite being a Margie Gessick 100 finisher, he's never been within shouting distance of a buckle in that event. At the Ultra, however, Brian assisted someone with hypothermia. He bandaged someone's ear who crashed into a tree. When he got to Ishpeming the first time, he felt so bad he was throwing up. Despite all that, he pushed through the pain, the exhaustion, and he willed himself to the finish in just over 35 hours, earning the last buckle of the event. Then he went back to the Airbnb and threw up a bunch more times. What a beast! Yeah! <laughs> How was it? It sucked. It was 35 hours of torture. Pure torture. It was beautiful, but I couldn't enjoy it. I was suffering. It was a suffer fest. Everybody loves a good time. Everybody loves a good time. Everybody loves a good time.